Hey guys, it's Zach here, and today we're going to be unboxing Arrow Video's first release in the Giallo Essentials lineup. This 2021 box set holds three films, The Possessed, The Fifth Chord, and The Pajama Girl Case. When these were originally announced, they seemed a little underwhelming due to the included films already being released by Arrow prior. If you've yet to see the films in this release, then this will certainly be a great pickup, as the new packaging surprised me as well. So without further ado, let's go take a look at what's included. Here we are now with Arrow Video's Giallo Essentials box set, Volume 1. Though there isn't any indicator of that, but I'm just gonna call it Volume 1 anyway, because we already have a second one on the way after this. Our release here comes in a striking red slipcover, with a window cutout in the front. On the back, we have a very simple overview of what's included. If we remove the slipcover, underneath we'll find a nice and sturdy slipcase, featuring new artwork from Adam Rabelai. The back side has more information than the slip, including the contents of each disc. But if we go ahead and remove what's inside, we'll find three full-size cases, one for each film. There isn't anything further included, however each case houses a single disc, as well as a reversible sleeve with the original artwork for each film on the opposing side. For now, let's go take a quick look at each film in the box. I haven't watched them yet myself, so for this unboxing, we'll go ahead and just check out what's summarized on the back of each Blu-ray case. First up in our essential giallo marathon is The Possessed, aka La Donna del Lago, or The Lady of the Lake. Released in 1965, The Possessed is written and directed by duo Luigi Bazzoni and Franco Rossellini. Let's take a look at what Arrow summarizes on the back of the case. The Possessed is a wonderfully atmospheric proto-giallo based on one of Italy's most notorious crimes, the Allegri killings, and adapted from the book on the case by acclaimed literary figure Giovanni Comiso. Peter Baldwin stars as Bernard, a depressed novelist who sets off in search of his old flame, Tilda, a beautiful maid who works at a remote lakeside hotel. Bernard is warmly greeted by the hotel owner Enrico and his daughter Irma, but Tilda has disappeared under suspicious circumstances. Bernard undertakes an investigation and is soon plunged into a disturbing drama of familial secrets, perversion, madness, and murder. The possessed masterfully combines film noir mystery, and giallo tropes, whilst also drawing on the formal innovations of 1960s art cinema, a uniquely dreamlike take on true crime and presented here in stunning 2K restoration. Moving on to our second disc in the box set and second essential giallo film, we have The Fifth Chord, aka Giornata Nera per l'Ariete, or Black Day for the Ram. The more I look up these giallo films' original Italian titles, the more I like them. They just sound so much more intense than the English versions. On the back of our case for the fifth chord, Arrow of course includes their summary. The success of Dario Argento's The Bird with the Crystal Plumage ushered in a host of imitators seeking to capitalize on this new, modern take on the giallo thriller. Many were highly derivative, but a number nonetheless rose above the crowd thanks to skillful execution and a willingness to experiment stylistically. One such example is the fifth chord, which, in the hands of director Luigi Bazzoni, turns a conventional premise into a visually stunning exploration of alienation and isolation. When a man barely survives a brutal assault en route home from a New Year's party, washed up, whiskey swilling journalist Andre Bild is assigned to report on the case. Before long, the maniac strikes again, this time with fatal results. As the body count rises, Andre falls under suspicion himself, making it even more imperative that he cracks the case. His only clue lies in a series of black gloves found at the location of every attack, each with a finger cut off. Adapted from a novel by David MacDonald Devine, The Fifth Chord boasts a complex, Agatha Christie-esque plot. Outstanding cinematography, courtesy of future Oscar winner Vittorio Storaro, and supporting appearances by a raft of genre stalwarts, including Sylvia Monti, Edmund Perdome, and Rossella Falk. With this high-definition release, arguably the most visually stunning giallo ever made, now shines like never before. We now move on to our final movie in this box set, The Pajama Girl Case, aka La Ragazza dal Pajama Giallo, or The Girl in the Yellow Pajamas. Released in 1978, our third film is written and directed by Flavio Mogherini. The back of our case from Arrow reads the following. Throughout the late 1960s and into the 70s, the Italian giallo movement transported viewers to the far corners of the globe, from swinging San Francisco to the Soviet-occupied Prague. Only one, however, brought the genre's unique brand of bloody mayhem as far as Australia, director Flavio Mogherini's tragic and poetic The Pajama Girl Case. For our story, the body of a young woman is found on the beach, shot in the head, burned to hide her identity, and dressed in distinctive yellow pajamas. With the Sydney police stumped, 
Former Inspector Timpson comes out of retirement to crack the case. Treading where the real detectives can't, Timpson doggedly pieces together the sad story of Dutch immigrant Linda Blythe and the unhappy chain of events which led to her grisly demise. Inspired by the real-life case which baffled the Australian police and continues to spark controversy and unanswered questions to this day, the Pajama Girl case is a uniquely haunting, latter-day giallo from the tail end of the genre's boom period, co-starring Michelle Placido and Howard Ross, and featuring a memorable, melancholic score by veteran composer Riz Ortolani. Overall, this looks to be a great lineup for newbies to the giallo genre. Personally, I've only seen a handful so far, mostly the big ones from household names like Dario Argento, so I can't wait to broaden my horizons with some other directors. Let me know down below in the comments if you've seen any of these films before. Maybe you enjoyed one or didn't enjoy it in particular. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you want a full review of any of these films and their included bonus features, comment on that too. For now, thank you guys so much for joining me here on Pajama Theater. Subscribe for more unboxings and reviews from boutique labels such as Arrow Video, and I'll see you guys next time.